In this video, I'll show you how to use this web interface to run a simple Gaussian calculation. The web link is www.webmo.net. Click this demo. Now you can see the server is up and running. We can log in to this server to run the calculation. The username and password are guest and guest. Both or lowercase. Now we log in. In this example, I will do optimization and vibrational frequency calculation for Neon2 cation. So click here, new job. We will make the input file from scratch. Input file, job name. I'm going to call this Neon2 cation. Uh, we'll use one core, pound sign, Hachi Falk method, slash 321G. We'll do optimization followed by frequency. And here we can write some comments about this calculation. After another blank line, we enter the charge of the molecule and the spin multiplicity of the molecule. Since we're doing neon to cation, the charge is plus one. The spin multiplicity is going to be two. We have one unpaired electron. The spin multiplicity is the number of unpaired electrons plus one. We have two atoms. So so I'm entering the first atom here, neon. Second atom is also neon. But now this time we need to specify the position of the second atom relative to the first atom. So relative to the first atom, the distance, uh, I'm going to make a initial guess of 2.0 angstroms. The unit is angstrom. And you will have to enter this 2.0 instead of 2. You need to include the decimal point here. You need at least one blank line at the end of the file. So I'm going to make two blank lines here. And this is the input file for the optimization and fre frequency calculation of this Neon2 Cani with plus one charge with a spin multiplicity of 2. Uh, in the initial geometry of this molecule, I make the second atom, which is neon, to be 2.0 angstroms away from the first atom. So this is how we set up this input file for the Gaussian calculation. And now you need to click this, choose engine. Uh, these are different computational software. So we're going to do this Gaussian calculation. So right here, I'm clicking this Gaussian here. Choose server. There's only one server, so we're going to just choose this one. Execute job. So you can see the name here, Neon2 Cation, and uh, the status is running. Uh, I think this is the CPU time. Now the job is done within seven seconds. And then we can click here. You can see we can click this to view the molecule and to see the result. Uh, so this is just the molecule. This is um, uh, the first atom, the second atom. Both are neon atoms. Uh, although there's no bond displayed here, but by joining the molecular orbital diagram of Neon2+, you know the bond order is supposed to be 0 0.5. It's just most visualization package does not show uh, the bond order properly, especially for this uh, fairly difficult case. Uh, again, this is Neon2+. Okay, now if you uh, scroll down or just click uh, data viewer. I think you'll see uh, those data uh, after this structure. 
Uh, this is Hachi Falk method, 321G basis set, optimization, frequency calculation. Uh, this is Neon 2 with 1 plus charge and a spin multiplicity of 2. Again, this means the number of unpaired electrons is 1. Uh, the symmetry is D infinite H. It's just in Gaussian, it's impossible to um, display the infinity symbol. Again, this is the basic set. Now you have the energy, the zero point vibration energy here. Uh, by default, when you do frequency calculation, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. The pressure is 1 atm. And you have the internal energy, enthalpy, and free energy here. Uh, this is Gibbs free energy. One Hartree is equal to 2625.5 kilojoule per mole. So Hartree is a fairly big unit. And now if you look for the heat capacity here, uh, it's in calorie per mole per Kelvin. So you can convert it to joule. And also we have the entropy here. We have the dipole moment here for this molecule. We used this server. The CPU time is 6.4 seconds. And now if you look at the energy of the structure, this is actually the so-called electronic energy at zero Kelvin. So 929548. But if you scroll down, you can see some other numbers under this energy. This is because we're doing optimization calculation. Uh, the first energy is the energy of the structure from your input. At the beginning, we set the distance between these two uh, neon nuclei to be 2.0 angstroms. So this Gaussian program keeps optimizing this bond distance. At the same time, the energy decreases. And if you look at the last two or three energies, they are the same. That indicates the optimization is done. You are getting to the minimum of the potential energy well. Uh, don't worry too much about the rotational constants. Now let's look at the vibrational modes. You have the frequency, 751. Uh, this is inverse centimeter. And then you can see the infrared intensity and the Raman intensity here. So during the vibration of a molecule, if the dipole moment of this molecule changes, then you will see a non-zero IR intensity. If the polarizability of the molecule changes, then you will see non-zero Raman intensity. So in this case, when neon 2 vibrates, its dipole moment remains zero but its polarizability changes. That's why you see a zero IR intensity and a non-zero Raman uh, intensity here. And now I'm showing you the vibration of this neon two. Can I? Now let's get back to the job manager over here. Uh, I think our calculation is right here. We used 6.4 seconds. Uh, because this webmo.net is open to the entire world, there's a CPU limit of 60 seconds. So you can only use this webmo to do uh, simple, uh, quick calculations.